today we are going to polish out the Phoenix camper. The camper has been in storage all winter and so it's that time of year where right at the beginning of the season before we get too busy we do a good hard hand polish of the camper and we do that with a whole bunch of these and some of this. Uh, we prefer microfiber towels and then the product that we use is called White Diamond. Uh, this isn't sponsored but we've used lots of different metal polishes in the past. This one happens to have a little bit of jeweler's rouge in it and it's also a sealant. So it does a really good job of kind of lightly scraping off any of the junk that's accumulated uh, you know, over the season but it also leaves a, a, a nice shine at the end of the day that's sealed so it helps to continuously protect like wax on your car uh, the bare polished aluminum of the camper. And now we wait. With white diamond, you have to wait until it dries, just like a wax, and then you can wax on, wax off. So that's what we're gonna do now. So you might be wondering why on this side of the camper we are using a buffing wheel on a drill whereas we said on the other side of the camper we did it by hand. Uh, something we've talked about on the channel before is that this camper has been in my family since 1965. I don't think what we've ever talked about before except maybe showing a couple pictures on Instagram is where this sat. So it sat at my great grandparents house uh, and this part of the camper, a little bit of it, maybe a foot or so, set underneath the overhang of um, I guess a porch or an awning and because of that this side especially up in here and you can see some of the little white patches that are still left it's the aluminum is more damaged than what it is on the other side where it was just exposed to the elements for 40 years uh, so every time we have an opportunity this being one of them we use the white diamond polish and then uh, we use a buffing wheel because we can get uh, 20,000 or 2,000 RPMs out of it uh, to give it a, a much more thorough cleaning. And every time we do it, it gets a little better and a little better and a little better. And eventually it'll look as good as the other side. But uh, it's not there yet. So uh, more elbow grease to go. So now that the white diamond polish is dried to this chalky, hazy, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's as easy as just wax off. So that's what we're going to do. Ooh, shiny. 
And don't worry, if by chance you happen to miss anything, it'll stand out pretty quickly. Especially once it rains. How long does this typically last before you need to do it again? <laughs> well, it really only lasts as long as it rains. Uh, until it rains again. And then you got to do it all over again, which is the joy of a polished camp. It also makes me wonder why the heck we don't just paint it. Oh, I remember why, because paint's expensive right now. And let's face it, polish is just kind of cool. Uh, so what I typically do, if we are going to travel a long distance, we'll do this before we leave. And then if we're going to be set up someplace for a couple days, in the downtime, if we get a cool evening or I get up in the morning and things are quiet, I'll turn around and I'll do this again. So that way when we leave, uh, the camper's clean again. And we put another layer of that sealant kind of on the, on the skin. And some of the stuff that you see here uh, is actually somehow etched itself into the skins. These little dark patches. They are not uh, soap scum deposits. It's, it's just goo. It, it's an acid etch or something. And the only way that we can remove those is to scrub it. I mean, basically scrub it out with a uh, higher grit polish and then bring it back out. So uh, we can show you one of those, the step, that first step in the process. But if you have a really, really badly oxidized vintage camper or set of wheels or anything that's polished aluminum or metal, the first step if it's really really bad is steel wool or uh, something similar so steel wool usually uh, 0000 or 000 000, 000, that's four O's steel wool uh, is a good start and then you can start taking it from there most of the various polishing companies uh, Flitz, Nuvite, Mothers they all have different grades of grit so you make it really really rough with steel wool and then after you steel wool it, you start with the second least, uh, or second most, gritty compounds called cut. And then after you do a cut, you go back and you do a lesser cut, and a lesser cut, and a lesser cut, until you get it to the polish out that you want. You can also do this with uh, sticks. So you'll see different rouges. Uh, so you'll see a black, and a brown, and a green, and a blue. There's a chart that we can put up somewhere in here. That chart will kind of give you a, a basics of what you should use for what. So some things, if you use it on aluminum, it's too harsh, it'll actually gouge it, like taking a knife to it. Uh, but other things, they're, they're not enough. And because they're not enough, you can rub and rub and rub all day long and it does absolutely nothing. Uh, so that works, but the compounding uh, paste or the compound sticks like that have to be done with like a buffing wheel. So now everybody has those. You can do it by hand. It's just a lot quicker to get, you know, five plus thousand RPMs rolling to, to help you with those passes. You know, this is one pass for me. Well, if you can do a uh, hundred passes a second, that that's obviously a lot better than, than just doing this. So that's how this camper was originally polished out uh, with Rachel's dad. He did it with uh, black and brown compounds and a buffing wheel to get all the original paint off. And you can see some little remnants of it here and there where we couldn't quite get all of it. And that's okay. Uh, we didn't mean this to be perfect. If we wanted it to be perfect, we would have sent it off, had it stripped out, and paid somebody to do it. So this is ours. And uh, this is the journey that we take on a very regular basis polishing out the camper. On a camper like ours, which is 11 feet long by 80 inches wide and about 7 feet tall, it takes us roughly an hour to polish it all the way, like what we did with this side. And we have to wait. And usually after we wait, it takes us another half hour to 45 minutes to buff it back out. So that's our process. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this little bit of instructional video for our channel today. It's something that we're trying that's new. And uh, this is the way we do it. There are others that may do it differently. There are different polishers. There's different polishes, different manufacturers, and they all have their own ways of doing things. This just is the most time effective way for us to polish our camper.